Good morning everyone. It's actually the afternoon, so that's a lie, but how's everyone doing? I said in my last video I wasn't going to do long intros anymore and I meant it. Just because like if you saw the bloopers of my intros, like... Anyways, let's get into the food. So this morning when I came back from the gym, well actually I came back from a swim, I had half a watermelon, watermelon, and it was so sweet and refreshing. Speaking of watermelon, guys, guys, yeah, speaking of watermelon and just all things summer, how, just how, someone tell me how is it the end of August already? Like, I spent the last six months, like, thinking, oh my god, like, Summer's coming, summer's on its way. I remember in like April and May, I was like, oh my God, it's getting warmer, can't wait for the summer. What happened? It's the end of August now, summer is almost over, and it's just been a big blur. So yeah, it's not gonna be much longer that I can get good quality watermelon and locally grown berries as well, which I'm eating in abundance while they're still here. But yeah, but yeah guys, honestly, I am a little bit traumatized because I just do not know where the summer went. I just don't know. I was in Glasgow with my friends a couple weeks ago and I found a couple of nut butters that I just had not seen before and I am so excited to test them. So that's coming up later too. Anyways, breakfast. All right guys, so first we need some yogurt. Some yogurt. Yogurt. Um, I'm using soy yogurt. This is plain unsweetened soy yogurt. It's high in protein. But really, I just like a plain creamy base. Uh, you can use coconut yogurt, you can use, I don't know, any kind of plant-based yogurt you can use. I'll allow it. Also guys, I apologize in advance, this is probably gonna be a chatty one. And do you know what, someone, someone left me a comment the other day, I don't know whether to take it as a compliment or a hate comment, and they were like, I watch your videos with the sound off because you're hot, but I can't stand it when you talk. All right, so the next step is to add some plant-based protein. This one is actually the banana cinnamon one from Viva Life. I usually use vanilla or salted caramel for this mix, but if I'm being very honest, I go through those flavors like crazy. Um, so the banana cinnamon one is my backup. Like, banana cinnamon is not my favorite one, but having said that, so many people say that the banana cinnamon one is their favorite one, so... I don't know, maybe I'm just the odd one out, but everyone seems to love it. I love it too, just not as much as the other flavors, if you know what I'm saying. I mean, you could make this without um, putting protein in as well. It just won't be as filling or satisfying. Like I said in my last video, I just feel so much more satisfied when I include a lot more protein. Um, and I know I'm not alone on that one. It seems that everyone's jumping on the higher protein train recently for obvious reasons, which I've said from the start. A high carb, low fat, low protein diet is just not, it's just not gonna cut it. All right, so I've got some rasps and some blackberries. These are locally grown, like very locally grown, like 10 minutes away. Very, very sweet. I'm gonna try and color the yogurt whilst getting in lots of antioxidants as well. So I'm gonna crush these up and then I've got more for the toppings as well. All right, in goes the berry mix. Guys, this is an experiment and it might not actually work to color the, ooh, actually. Oh guys, look at that. <laughs> look at that color. Also guys, if you could only have one berry for the rest of your life, I, I need to know these things, what would it be? I think for me, I would have always said cherry because when you get a good cherry, it's just like, <laughs> But actually, do you know what? I think it would have to be raspberries. All right, so I'm gonna throw over some frozen bloobs. Got some fresh blackberries. And some fresh rasps. Gonna put a little bit of desiccated coconut. And some dark chocolate. I am, um, you guys know I get addicted to things easily, right? And I am, Absolutely addicted to dark chocolate right now. A little bit of hemp seed action for some crunch, for some omega 3s. You could also use flax if you really want to bump up the omega 3s in this. Alright, and the best part, I am today using some almond butter. This works really well with cashew butter, peanut butter, I mean, any nut butter to be quite honest. All right, it is finally time to dive in. I added a few more rasps and chocolate pieces because I was trying to take a good picture for Instagram, which didn't happen because this is just a big splat, but it's a big tasty splat, so. And happily, apply to face. Oh my God, the flavors. Actually, if I'm being honest, the banana cinnamon does actually work really well in this. 
it's funny because you guys know I'm brutally honest no matter what, right? Even if it's like with companies that I work with or companies that have, for example, the, bi the biggest example, when like nut butter companies send me their nut butters to taste test, which to be honest is just like the biggest risk ever sending them to me. It blows my mind because like a couple of the companies have been like, hey, what are you doing? Like we sent you free jars, like you gave it a two out of 10. And I'm like, it's like you sent them for a review. You got what you asked for. It's not my fault that your company sucks. Also, this kind of bowl is so versatile. You can put whatever you want in it. I mean, within reason, don't go putting like Doritos in it or anything. But yeah, when it's not berry season, you can use whatever you want. Apples, pears, papaya, mango, whatever fruit that you have in your country, you can make it work. <clears throat> Anyways, I'm gonna go inhale this and I'll see you at lunch. Cheers. <laughs> Guys, can we just have a quick chat about tempeh? Because if you've noticed, I never eat it. And it's because I have, what's it called? I have, um, you know that thing, I don't know what it's called, but I'll put it on the screen because I'll look it up. You know that thing where I know a lot of people have it, you know like when you look at a certain object or shape and it makes you feel sick, or maybe not, it doesn't make you feel sick, but it makes you feel very uncomfortable. But yeah, when I look at tempeh, I kind of get that reaction. But I thought, do you know what? It's time to break the barriers of my fear of tempeh. Um, because you know I love tofu and I eat it quite often either like fried or roasted or... But anyways, yeah, this morning in Sainsbury's, I found this tempeh pieces, curry flavored, cultured plant power. Just gonna whip up a huge colorful salad as per usual, lots of green, lots of color, lots of healthy fat, lots of avocado. I've got an avocado in the fridge, which I think is a winner. If it's not, you'll find out about it. Um, and this says ready to eat, but I'm not about to eat cold tempeh, so I'm gonna put it in the oven and just see what happens. Moment of truth. Oh, look at that. All right, so my bowl is ready. Underneath, I've got a couple heads of romaine, and then some of these, I don't even know what the other leaves were, but it was just like a mix that I bought. And I've got these sun, these are not sun-dried tomatoes, they are sun-kissed tomatoes, which I believe is like halfway between, like it's not fully sun-dried, it's like in between or something, but they're very like tangy and sweet and, I just love them. And lots of red cabbage, some radish, which is locally grown, some avocado, perfectly creamy one, and some red bell pepper. We first need a dollop of hummus. This is a bit of a work of art, guys. I'm not gonna lie. Picasso is turning in his grave as I make this. And then some of the tempeh in the middle, which I only cooked for about, I don't know, eight to 10 minutes in a hot oven. I mean, it, it did say it was ready to eat, like you didn't have to cook it, but. And of course, some liquid gold, which actually, actually, I've got something to tell you, hold on. All right, I know you're probably thinking, what are you doing, Mars? What are you doing with Cypressa tahini? Yeah, I've slammed this quite a lot in the past for not being runny enough and just being like clay. But guys, let me tell you, they have reformulated their texture and actually, look at this. Look how runny. Look, that's almost, considering this is not a proper, like proper, proper, Arabic one. The taste is a little bit different too, but look at the runniness. Yeah, they have upped their game big time to the point where I would actually suggest this because it's actually runny enough, so. All right, so a little drizzle of this stuff. See, look, that texture, their texture before, if you look back to my old videos, it was like sludge, like thick, thick, but this, I mean, look, it's actually pourable. I'm extremely impressed, guys. Considering you can buy this one pretty much anywhere, Game changer. Also, just a little sprinkle of hemp seeds just because I love the crunch and I pretty much put them on everything I eat these days. My hemp seed bill is like more than my rent. I'm not even kidding. Can you believe, guys? Four years ve- no, four and a half years vegan haven't tried tempeh. At least I don't think I have. Anyways. Mmm, mmm, mmm. The texture's like very different to tofu. I actually love it. Guys. A little bit of sriracha, a little bit of sriracha. And happily apply to face. Cheers. What a beautiful mess. Anyways, guys, I'm gonna, hold on. I'm actually presently supply, supplied. I'm presently supplied. I'm actually, pre oh my God. Anyways, I'm gonna go get some work done and munch. And I, do I really need to say it anymore? You guys know, 
you know. Ooh. All right, guys, once again, we're back in business, and these two, right, let me tell you about these two. Let me tell you about these two. I am so excited about these two. These are from Almighty Foods. You've already seen me try their, by the way, all of their flavors are bomb. They are like, they're very like gourmet. They're pretty expensive. I think for one jar, these were like, it's only 200 grams. And it was like maybe, I want to say 6.99, like seven pounds. That's basically $10. But, but they are always just so worth it. All of their range are very sweet. Like they're not like trying to claim they're healthy or anything. But the flavor is just, the flavor is just something else. And once you open one of these, like guys, I've given some of the other ones from this range to friends who, like people that aren't even like nut butter addicts. And they would open this and just down it in one go because they are so sweet and so addictive. Um, yeah, also I just, <clears throat> And yeah, I was super excited to find these because these are two new flavors. Well, actually, I don't know if the peanut caramello one is a new flavor, but this one is most definitely a new flavor. This is their limited edition vanilla spice cashew butter. And let me tell you guys, let me tell you, to this day, I have yet to find a good runny cashew butter. Cashew butter is always thick. It's always hella thick. To be honest, it's the only nut butter that I find very sickly. But Almighty always comes through with the texture. They're always runny, so I'm kind of thinking this one might be runny too. All right, we're gonna start with the peanut caramello because I feel like the other one is just gonna be like different level good. So the ingredients are peanuts, uh, coconut palm sugar, and sea salt. See, that is why I don't understand how they get the texture and the flavor they do from just like three simple ingredients. Guys, before I even open this, I am telling you right now, I know, I know this is gonna be up to my standards in terms of runniness. Okay, I was wrong, it's a little bit lumpy. Guys, look at that texture. I mean, if that is not the silkiest, smoothest peanut butter that you've ever seen, guys, cheers. Oh my God. Guys, what the f is that? Guys, that is, I mean, texture, absolutely perfect. It's very, very, very sweet, but like, I mean, come on, who wouldn't want this for dessert? Or maybe like to drizzle over your oatmeal, if you're an oatmeal person. I can't eat oatmeal because if I do, it puts me into a coma and I just fall asleep for two months. Actually, do you know what? Maybe that's why I missed the summer. Maybe I had oatmeal like back in June and then I just slept for the last two months. I don't know. Anyways. I'm so excited. And I just can't hide. All right, onto the limited edition. Vanilla Spice. Do you know what, actually, guys? Speaking of limited edition, why do they make all the best flavors limited edition? Like Pippa Nut, they just took away their chocolate orange, which is absolutely criminal. Oh, oh okay, ingredients. Haven't read the ingredients. Cashew nuts, coconut palm sugar, ground vanilla pod, and cinnamon. Guys, it's half empty. <laughs> I'm not even kidding, it's up. It's up to there. All right, not off to a good start because I've been robbed. I've been thieved of seven quid, guys, but. Okay, I knew this one was gonna be thicker. Does anyone know, like, why, what is the scientific reason? Why is cashew butter thicker always? Is it because they have less fat? I don't know. Anyways, that is not a bad texture. I mean, it is very thick, but guys, do you know what? It smells like, it smells like a Christmas time or full time scented candle. All right, here we go. Mm. Mm. That is giving me, what is it giving me? Okay, that is absolutely incredible. It's reminding me of something. I don't know what it is. I'm gonna say it right now. This one. I'm so excited and I just can't hide it. No, this is like 100% the best one they've ever created, like taste wise. Mm. Okay guys, so. I was in, I was in the 212. I was in the 212. No, anyway, seriously. Uh, this morning I was in Waitrose and I don't eat pizza that much. I kind of only eat pizza when I like eat out in a restaurant, but I saw this. It's their new, well, I think it's new, vegan stone baked hand stretched pizza. I just had to get it. Obviously I'm not gonna have it like this cause it's kind of plain. I'm gonna spruce it up. I'm gonna pile on lots of colorful veggies and avocado and other stuff like that. And yeah, I have no idea what they make the vegan cheese of, but let's give it a go. First of all, you cannot have a pizza 
without onion, in my opinion. Just takes it to a different level. I have got some zucchini, courgette, as we call it here. I've talked about how I actually don't like courgettes. I actually get offended when I see people like boiling them and steaming them and posting it on Instagram. I actually feel quite violated when I see that. But on a pizza, when it's roasted, it can be a beautiful thing. Got some leftover red bell pepper from earlier. These are those pointy, long, really sweet ones. Some extra sun blush tomatoes, because why not? And I know I'm gonna get loads of comments asking where do I find them without oil? I don't, I buy the ones in the oil. Now, I know this next thing I put on is gonna be quite controversial. I am team sweet corn on pizza all the way, always have been, absolutely love it. I know it's probably not authentic Italian. Or actually, is it? I know people get offended with pineapple on pizza, which to be honest, I don't have that much of a problem with. What I do have a lot of problems with is jackfruit pizza. I just feel like it's, ugh, it's so sweet. It's like having dried fruit on top of pizza. Actually, that's exactly what it is. I don't know why people do it. Anyway, some avocado chunks right on the pizza. And this does actually work quite often when I go to like, if any of you guys are familiar with the Italian restaurants, well, the kind of Italian restaurants in the UK, like Pizza Express, Ask, ZZ, all of that kind of jazz, I don't like their vegan cheese, so I always get the pizza without vegan cheese, and I ask them to add extra avocado on top before it goes in the oven. And guys, cooked avocado on pizza, I mean, you, you just need to try it. All right, into the oven, and I shall be back with the final result. This is about to fall apart, so I feel like, see? I feel like I should use a knife and fork. For some reason, I wanna get the ketchup out, but I'm gonna try and resist. Let's go in for a little taste of their cheese. Cheers. Mmm, that is pretty bomb. Cheese is like, I wouldn't even call it vegan cheese, it's just like melted white stuff, but it's good. I like it. Actually, wait, I need to try the crust first. Okay, I can confirm that the crust is also very nice. I would recommend this pizza if you're in the UK. It wasn't even expensive, it was like four pounds, but it's a pretty big pizza. You gotta do what you gotta do, right? Just loads of veggies on pizza, that's what you call damage limitations. Anyways, I'm gonna go feast on this while I watch the new episode of How to Get Away with Murder because I am absolutely addicted, best show ever. And I love you all, and I'll see you on the next video.